Welcome to post configuration steps for Microsoft SQL Server part 3. So in this session, we are going to discuss all these three points. Create SQL Server error log job, set save 30s error log jobs, remote uh, any, uh, how we, uh, we need to enable remote uh, dedicated administrative connection, DB executor, uh, executor role in model database, create SQL operator, increase SQL agent history and set cost threshold for parallelism, uh, create SQL production email, set ideal CPU, uh, blocking process report, auto growth events, temp DB files as per CPU, how to create, we can create deadlock alert, how we need to install Hologram backup maintenance and scripts, enable how to enable contain database and how to create 825 error alert, how we need to enable log pages in memory, how we need to set in the CPU in high performance mode. So we are going to discuss all this. Okay. So now I'll go open your SSMS and open new query here. I'm just copy. Uh, I have script. Uh, I am done all the scripts. Done it. Um, now, so I'm going to create the scripts right here. So here we need to create the job. So uh, like um, at what time you need to set the database for every one week you need to recycle the process. Okay, so it's all depends upon the how frequently the log error log file it is getting full. So as of now, I'm going to give the command. So for you in the real time, you need to right click and you need to create the job and you need to add the two steps here. For the first step, it is going to uh, recycle the error log and the second step, it is going to recycle that uh, SQL Server agent error log. Okay, so for now, I simply I'm executing now here. Just click execute, done. So now with this both error uh, log file, but for you, you need to put these two into uh, error job log and we need to set the time. So once you set that, you can ex directly export that T-SQL and you can keep it with you. So whenever any requirement comes, you can use that code, okay. Set save error logs to 10. See, for example, if we do recycle of primary will uh, so main current log will go to this archive one right so so that if we have uh, less number of like if we have 30 if we create 30 right so we can have 30 error logs backups click execute so we just execute that okay uh, you just uh, it's just like one time installation okay so apart from that uh, no need to worry at all okay use jobs error logs so these are the logs now issues so now 30 right here 30 so go to management sql server log configure so 30 you have configured okay so yeah that's done now now we need how to enable remote DAG. so in order to like uh, uh, like whenever SQL Server got struck, okay. So we need to, uh, uh, I mean, I mean to say, like uh, this memory, uh, this tag is going to save some memory. So using that memory, we can directly connect to the SQL Server when we are having some resource crunch, okay. So just execute that. Done. Okay. Now, so we are going to create like. Uh, like uh, executor role right okay so just copy that and execute it so oh, it's already executed so no problem okay now operator so for example in this video I am, we are creating maintenance scale operator so in your case it might be sub different just replace the name and everything and replace the settings once you create your own job and take the tsql script okay so as of now i am using this script here done executed okay so like that how many you have or like operators you can create that the number of operators now agent history so like uh, if you want to know the performance like we need to maintain some mystery right so this will set one benchmark okay 
that is done. Now, cost of threshold parallelism. In our organization, for our application, we by default cost threshold, uh, cost threshold parallelism is 5, but in our organization, it is 50. So, in our in your company it might be different okay it might be 10 it will be 25 but so you just change that and you uh, click executed this one okay yeah it is done now production email so as of now like uh, i am not going to create any emails or passwords or anything like that i'm just creating with simple emails so that i can uh, so if you have any emails like particularly you can add this those emails here okay so I, I will show you that once how we need to create that everything okay so i'm just copying this all this click execute yeah it is done right now now go to database uh, maintenance db email manage for data manage files key view hard change see we got email right so here uh, we got that in everything email right you can uh, create your own but uh, like if you have dedicated you can directly give the passwords and everything by just one clicking that it all depends upon your like how you are maintaining the passwords and emails okay as of now this email is very good like just uh, if we execute all these like uh, just we need to enter the password by using GUI and uh, so we can reduce the steps so for to some extent this uh, script is very useful okay so set ideal CPU so like uh, we have an option like when we don't have workload okay so at that time the job can run so for that we need to enable the ideal cpu parameter you just, uh, just copy that and i click execute that's it now create uh, like local process so uh, like in your organization it might be different like uh, for uh, in in this to show this demo i have done uh, like blocked process for five seconds if blocking is happened for more than five seconds it will trigger an alert okay i'm just copying this and uh, and you can see the delay responses and everything okay here so it just i'm providing i'm showing for demo purpose here So click execute. So it will keep on executing. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. So five seconds. Okay. Block. Uh, if more than blocking alerts, it will trigger the alert. Okay. So I think some jobs will be get created. Okay. See. So now you can configure that alert schedule. Like I said, it's not trigger it, right? So share error test and everything. So for everything you need to like, uh, you need automatic uh, profile e name. I say okay, it will send the reports and everything. You just execute that, like in the production how and create the simulation and how it is sending that. You just check all these parameters and change the scripts as per your needs. Okay, and that is done. Now come down. Now auto growth events, right? So know that how uh, like whenever the auto growth events for data file and log file so it will trigger alert so that we can plan as per like uh, we can do proper capacity planning okay so so that it will not trigger further so that one and uh, you just click execute here yeah it is done so just crop uh, refresh see even triggers so whenever uh, like for example uh, there is less space and more sp uh, space got in auto growth uh, event occurred it will tell so that we can properly uh, plan uh, for the okay this much of space is required for this for the next one month so we can plan accordingly so that uh, there will be no mess okay 
so for example the transactions are very busy in middle and by the time database got full and it will be keep on uh, itself in expanding the drive so it will not occur so it will add some performance effect right so now add temporal so one of the common uh, practice okay I can 99 it's a common practice okay so and again you need to test that scenario how good it is useful for example I am having eight CPUs so I need to add eight data files so the what this script will tell us is okay it will check the CPUs how many CPUs it I'm my instance is having and it is going to print okay uh, it is going to print And it is going to generate the statements. See, if I click execute here, see, total number of CPUs on my server is eight. Number of core is eight. Current data files is also eight. So number of requirements is already there. So there are no data files. It is going to give the scripts. Okay, by using that scripts, we can execute it. So our work will get reduced. Now, how we need to create the deadlock alert? So, so just I am just uh, just select that and execute, and you uh, you can just refresh that and uh, so like capture deadlock response and it will send an email. So you just send or uh, uh, execute that uh, like uh, uh, steps and see that what is a parameter and you just execute that in the test environment and you see here we need to give the recipient emails okay so see so your responsibility you need to change as per, as per your requirements okay otherwise you just configure and everything take the t sql just script that okay so that it will be useful for you so how to install like all and grain maintenance you know that right so you just go to that and download maintenance dot solution and uh, you just copy this and go to new query here and paste it here okay so you just come down here and like uh, here you need to parameter yes job should be need to create it we if you have the directory mention the back other uh, otherwise keep it null it will use the default backup directory so how long it will be every 48 hours i need to uh, clear the backup files so error files if you have it with Android it will use that uh, null, uh, default uh, path or something okay or it will post here you specify the output file directory if no directory file is specified then this equal server that log directory will be used so declare log file so the log table will be get connected those information will also going to log into that just fill up those all this information everything just click execute sorry uh, you just click execute sorry this one okay you just execute that it is done now you just refresh it here yeah so many there now you just go through that and schedule that one how uh, like uh, you need to configure okay so otherwise uh, no, it's not required so otherwise uh, if these backup jobs are not working as per like uh, it's a i like it's my uh, like whenever i go uh, whenever i need to work i just work with the stored procedure only directly and after that i'm going to configure manually so sometimes i have facial issue by taking the script manually so that's the reason i only use this maintenance dot solution and you configure the schedules manually so it is done I'm just closing this one okay so enable container database you know you know that you no need to have the password uh, login and everything so I can directly uh, create a password without uh, login for the database contain databases you just executed that okay so 825 is one of the alert where we have um, disk, uh, disk uh, issues so uh, read uh, request will be placed again and again so in our organization whatever alerts that you may feel like that is very important so you need to add those alerts okay for now like i am going to show you 825 alert 
correct okay so let's uh, copy that and click execute now refresh it so you will see all these alerts okay alert this will be created right so alert will be get created here 825 alert okay now locked pages in memory no right uh, so we cannot enable through this like uh, t sql we need to use like command prompt uh, open run uh, run command type gp edit group policy edit dot microsoft console click ok now windows settings security settings local policies select uh, user right attainment and type here log pages in memory so here what are the instance service account that you are using you just type it there and uh, check name and click execute copy okay so i'm just not enabling this for now so set high cpu mode for that we cannot enable this t sql we need to use powershell or you need to use gui mode versus cpu we need to set the we have different types of modes are there generally uh, power balance and power saving mode and high performance mode so and we can set your modes as well okay so here uh, like power sleeping and settings here additional power settings so here right so by default it will be there like this and you need to set high to high performance mode okay so uh, like if it is using like bare metal if you are using any virtualization software like esxi and like microsoft hyper v so you need to enable in that as well okay so so these two we need to enable uh, by using powershell or we need to use gui so this is all about like push installation of sql server okay uh, like uh, i hope uh, you may like this video if i may if i miss anything you just comment it and i will work on, on that as well i hope you may like this video thank you